So let's talk about a race that happened a couple of weeks ago. The TFHI Formula RX-8 series travelled to Queensland Raceway for round three and it was dominated by none other than Brock Payne. Welcome, mate. You're on uh, Radio Italiana and Let's Talk Motorsport. How are you, buddy? Yeah, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Um, nice to be here, so appreciate it. That was fantastic. You obviously had a fantastic weekend there. Uh, how did it feel from your perspective? Because obviously from the couch, it looked rather good for you guys. A solid weekend. Um, a few car dramas, but um, we worked around it. Um, qualified pole, won all four races, so I uh, couldn't really ask for much more. We had um, some good good racing, though. It wasn't it wasn't easy. Um, we had some good clean battles, which is uh, what the category is about. Yeah, you and Rob Bowden looked like you were going at it for uh, well, pretty much the whole weekend. Yeah. Um, some yeah. cracking battles at the front, lots of TV time. Um, how'd you find racing with uh, Rob? Oh, he's he's fantastic. Yeah, very very clean, fair racer. Um, we both both gave each other plenty of room, and um, it definitely it definitely goes both ways when you when you're racing someone. So it's uh nice to nice to race someone with a similar respect. Well, speaking of that, um, we keep talking about it all the time, but how Formula RX A is it's new series, but it's so damn clean so far. Um, you wouldn't have seen it because um, you were so far down the road, but uh, the battle for fourth position was uh, all uh, all elbows out, especially for Ivan here. Um, but you guys, everyone raced so cleanly though. There was no crashes or prangs or anything like that. Uh, it was fantastic to see. A hundred percent, yeah. I think um, well for three rounds so far, I don't think we've been under a safety car. So, I mean, that's full credit to the category and all the drivers in it. No, uh, I. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. It's quite incredible, actually. But. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's crazy, you know, to to be a part of it, you know, like coming uh, from you know coming from excels and those type of categories yeah. that it's just uncommon, you know, at Queensland Raceway we were the only category, yeah. and Alex, you know, you you spotted. I kept raving on about that. <laughs> yeah, we were the only category that didn't have a safety car or, or yeah, red flag <laughs> or red yeah. flags. Um, you know, TA two had its fair share of you yeah. know uh, crashes. Excels had its fair share of crashes as well but a rollover yeah, too yeah daniel <laughs> um, rollovers. yeah you know daniel in regards to the battle for for fourth and five cars of battling you know one thing is doing it in on the simulator you know side yeah. by side yeah. and the yeah. other thing is doing it in real life yeah. with five cars in a pack you know um such respect amongst uh, the drivers and i think everybody's mm. really getting to know each other on a bit more of a personal level as well. Mm. So he's, he's not just a competitor in front of you. You know, you know who he is, his mate. history and all that. He's a mate. Yeah. You know? Well, we always say it's a family. Uh, we keep it saying is. that. No, um, it is. It and is. you can really see it, which is fantastic. And also, like, you know, keep in mind the first first round of the year, I, I don't think any of us had raced together. So, you know, it's not like we've, we're already developed and we would spend a lot of time racing together. You know, we've all come here first round don't know what anyone's like and um you know kept it clean all year so yeah i think uh i think for me and and a few of us uh, that in the category brock what was um really really fascinating from your drive uh, over the weekend were just um your late apexes how deep you were on the brakes uh, compared to um a lot of us uh, um what is it about you know queensland raceway you know is it um, a track that has a uh, always suited your driving style because you know you just yeah you came out from first practice and just dominated yeah, yeah well obviously it is, it is a home track for me so i got a you know fairly big advantage there and um pretty much since i started um you know driving a car it was always done test days and everything at, at queensland raceway but i think um a lot of people look at it on paper and think oh well you know that's boring that's easy you know but You've only got six corners, so you got to get everyone perfect. If you make one mistake, you know, you're not going to have a good luck time. And um, especially with, you know, the type of cars, the RX-8s, they haven't got a massive amount of horsepower. So, um, you know, getting through the corners cleanly, smoothly, um, it um, definitely makes a big difference for the overall lap. Yeah, and and I think, you know, credit to, uh, to yourself, uh, to to the team as well. You know, we... We're in the paddock, you know, with you guys and 
uh, the professionalism, um, how approachable everybody in the team is. And, uh, you know, you see, you know, you see the team, you know, rock up, you know, you guys are like probably one of the first teams there and sometimes the last team to leave. So there's definitely um, a big push and, and, a, and a great effort that is being put there. What's uh, the team vibe been like for you, you know, being a part of the TFH team? Uh, it's, it's fantastic. Um, Brett, Brett's done, you know, a lot for us, helped me out heaps. And, um, you know, we're sort of we're a part of the, you know, it's all a family team. They got, you know, his two boys and that racing. So, you know, at first we felt, well, you know, are we going to feel welcome? But no, they're fantastic. Um, you know, it's a, it's a great environment, good vibe. Um, but that's not just, you know, within our team, that's within the whole paddock. And, I think everyone's taking, you know, it quite seriously, which is good from a, you know, especially a spectator's point of view, you know, they're looking at a category, um, they think, oh, these guys are doing it properly, you know? So, and that, like I said, that goes across the whole field, but um, yeah. the TFH boys have been, been fantastic and yeah, the t- team's amazing considering they've only just sort of got into motorsport, haven't been in it for very long, so. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, like I said, you know, if, when you get a chance, you know, to go to one of the events and, and to check out, you know, the guys and how how you all operate together. Um, and yeah, it might it may be a new team, but it's definitely, you know, um, it's definitely called the eyes of everybody. And it's uh, fantastic to see, um, you know, an entrepreneur who's built a successful business, you know, now launch mm-hmm. Um, a, a, a racing team and yeah no cre- credit to you guys and so the round you know obviously you know you had the battle at the front you know between you two and then sort of like you know the, the rest of us were had a bit of a gap what's your um what are your thoughts now heading into this uh, mini break before we uh go to tail and bend what, what are your thoughts on that yeah i mean i i don't know what to expect um from the band to be honest i've uh I have downloaded it on the sim, so I'm doing a few laps there, but that's really the only uh the only sort of way I can get practice in, which um obviously works very well. Uh but yeah, I just sort of I don't think we have too much planned. The cars will just get a check over. Um I don't think we're gonna do any testing or anything like that. Um you know, just rock up there and Hopefully, hopefully we're quick. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, you got the straight uh, line speed for it, which you need. Yeah, yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot. There's a lot of um. Yeah, the, it, it, the the layouts that we have, you know, like it um really suits the RX eights. You know, I think uh, it's going to be spectacular. What, what track are we running on the international circuit? You know what? Uh, yeah, yeah, the name the, of it, but I think it is the, the one that supercars run. The where you run where you. The triple right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. well yeah. i believe um we'll get we'll get confirmation but i'm fairly it's certain GT? because of yeah. the yeah the gt GT, yeah, yeah. because of the yeah. ta2s we'll run probably you know the the proper not we're not going to be running the north i doubt it be too short um but no look it's um it's yeah it's a pleasure you know to to be part of this championship you know we are now halfway in the formula rxa championship and you can now sort of start to see the same the same kind of people around the similar positions now yep. Yep. um a pattern mm. seems to be forming you know and there's um yeah great battles going everywhere you know i mean you've taken some points now off of rob bowden um halfway through the championship yep. what are what are your thoughts uh, um heading into the next uh, you know the next half of the season and uh, psychologically you know how are you preparing yourself for you know when we get to winton and one raceway you know the title, let's yeah. face it, it will go down to the wire to the last round. Uh, how do you prepare yeah, for that? Yeah, see, I think the the first half of the season was definitely, uh, you know, I had two local tracks and Sydney, which I'd run on multiple times. So now, you know, going from three tracks that I was um, pretty familiar with, now into three tracks that oh, I've never raced on. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know how many of the other competitors have done you know, run, much running down there, but I'm just going to have to sort of focus on what I can do in the car and hopefully, um, you know, we're up the, up the pointy end and we're still contesting for the championship by, by the final round. But um, like I said, just really all I can do is hop on the sim, uh, practice laps, and we're fortunate enough that, you know, we have all these tracks available to, uh, to race on a digital platform, so it's pretty cool. Yeah, fantastic, mate. And... Uh... 
Well, you've got plenty of time to do that in the, in the lead up. Of course, August 30th is when the next round is. But uh, no, thanks for joining us, mate. Pleasure hearing from you and uh, all the best uh, for the next round coming up. No, thank you. Thank you guys for having me. Appreciate it. Awesome. All right. So, Ivan, of course, like we said, you raced and that yes. battle for fourth, you were literally in the smack bang middle of it. Um, what was it like for your perspective? Because obviously on the TV, they were on you the whole entire time. It was fantastic. Good, yes. Good, uh, good publicity. But uh, no, what, what was it like for you? Look, I think uh, it's, it's really, really interesting, you know, because we only got two practice sessions. So we got 30 minutes to learn a track. And then before you know it, you're in this reverse grid race and you're right in the middle of a five cars. You know, you got three hunting you down, you got one in front of you and you're trying to, you know, race close, race fair. And I loved it. You know, I think it was fascinating, you know, to, to watch the battle. Um, as you're driving, funny enough, you actually are thinking, you know, this is going to be so good on TV. Like <laughs> uh, you just knew that you, you were definitely in a moment where there's going to be airtime, you know, because it was such a, such a great battle and uh, i think it was uh, really really good to um race against diesel i had never raced against him um i have been against jeff of course and and terry and Ayrton. you know i mean shout out to Ayrton because you know he was right in it yeah 100 he did was, very well this whole weekend he, Nothing did, he did really well and he, he's one of those drivers um it's really interesting in a championship especially this year heading into 2025 you look for the drivers that are constantly upgrading and making better, you know, the better performances, better performances. And, and he's a driver every round. He's getting better and better. Yeah, yeah. And come round five at Winton, I'd have my money on him to be right up there. That's in, his home in, race. That's his home race. Yep. To be right in the middle of that, you know. So I think, um, yeah, fantastic. But from from my point of view, um. It's great to finish and walk away with a top five for the round. Um, to be fourth in the championship, if you ask me, when we rocked up in Sydney, yeah, yeah. and I, I told you, Alex, what did I say? Twelfth, uh, yeah. eleven, top yeah. ten. That'll be right. <laughs> Outside of the top ten, yeah, we, 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 top ten. we should be really happy. <laughs> and we're now halfway through the championship, and we're sitting uh, fourth, fourth. Th fourth in the championship. And I believe, and don't quote me on that, but I believe I'm the only car that's a lease car. That's in the top ten as well. So you know, like everyone yeah, else, wow. uh, everyone else has their own equipment, and you know. Um, but these cars are so even, you know. Like I've driven, you know. Um, oh, Steve. I, oh yes, of course. Steve, it's right behind you. <laughs> All right, you're the one of two. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yes. So how can I forget, Steve? I just sorry, uh, Steve. He's had that. He, <laughs> sorry, Steve. He's been with that. I got you back. He's been with that car for so long, and I, I, I feel like it's his car. You know. Yeah. Like, to be know. honest, he does work on it all on, even though it's not. His. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like I, <laughs> I can't believe I forgot that. But no, um, it's it's fantastic. Um, I'm I'm really happy. Uh, for the home round, uh, I wish the home round was maybe one uh, another extra round before yeah. the home round. Yeah, yeah. Um, there is a there is a gap. In performance uh, um, from a driving point of view to your Brock Payne, to your Rob Bowden, oh, to yeah. your Stevens. Yeah. And so as much as I as much as I dream of a podium finish uh, in the home race, and that, that's definitely going to be the target, um, it's gonna be a very, very big challenge. You know, they do say that the home crowd gives you two tenths. Uh, we need a little bit more than two tenths. I'm bringing a crowd, so you better perform. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> bringing the whole family. No pressure. No, not at all. No, no Your pressure. Your family, Daniel, everyone's coming. Yeah, yeah. we're all going to be there. We, we, we have a, um, a massive marketing plan that's about to be rolled out for the bend. Um, we are going to tell South Australia that this championship is coming to, uh, to SA. And, it's got to be good. And all the Rotary fans, uh, uh, we, you know, yeah. we, we can't wait to, and um, yeah, super thankful for for the or everybody that's put this championship together. You know, Stacy, um, Justin, and and everybody on the committee. Um, Derek Lack, uh, you know, thank you and shout out to we him. We love Derek. We love Derek. You know, um, Derek's you know, a good boat. Good he, boat. you know, he put me in his car, trusted me with his, uh, you know, with his baby because that that is his car. That was his. Yeah. That he put me in and sacrificed his own weekend to make sure that I had a good weekend. And there's a um, a lot of people along the way that are, you know, that I'm thankful for, for, for this championship. And, um, there will be a video on slipstream where we will oh, yeah. talk about the halfway point of the championship, but overall, yeah, I'm super, super happy. Can't wait for the bend. And before we get into the round, uh, top three, I just want to quickly brief over Leslie. 
as yeah, well because so, obviously oh. he missed round two. Uh, you were on the mic with him all the weekend. Yeah, um, well, I was on the mic. He couldn't hear me, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Technical issues. But uh, no, he's a great bloke and his father as well, Errol, are oh, unbelievable mm. people. You know, they drive from Townsville to every event. Like they travel by far more than anyone else. Yes. And especially coming to Adelaide next. Oh boy. It's going to be like a three day road trip for them up and back. Um, now they're a great family. So shout out to the Reeves. You love the passion, don't you? You gotta love it. Hundred percent. Yeah, we couldn't have picked uh, um, better people to win the Spirit Eight oh, Award, yeah. the, mm. um, and just to see the you know, the emotion on Harold, and yeah, I think everybody got quite emotional yeah, on seeing it was that. A great day. It's um, yeah, great category. Super happy to be a part of it, and yeah, looking forward to Talent Bend. But uh, yeah, so before we uh, quickly brief over that Talent Bend round. Uh, Brock Payne, as we spoke to before, dominated the weekend, clean swept, but uh, Rob Bowden definitely didn't make it easy for him no, uh, for a while no, there. And no. also Jeff Connell, who is a fantastic up-and-comer for sure. Yes. Um, I, I saw he got some uh, sponsorship as well on the side as well, which yeah, is good to see. Absolutely. And um, his first podium and, uh, yeah, to do it at a you know a track again that he's never been to either. And he's, Pretty cool. It's awesome. And I love seeing the on board with him. It's really cool. Out of all the drivers, uh, nothing against you. <laughs> but well, especially, it's, yeah, especially but, race three. He was right in it with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah we yeah. did see you. We you did. We saw you. You, you, know, you so, definitely saw me. Oh, yeah. So not only is Jeff a driver, but he's also a handy cameraman as well. The the switchback <laughs> maneuver with Diesel Thomas when he Diesel went wide and I yes. went up the inside and Jeff was right there and I was like, whoa, that's close. <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. That was fantastic. So hopefully we see some more of that action. Yes, Taylor and Ben. That's going to be a whopper. Uh, completely different track. Yes, uh, than Queensland, but uh, ah, looking forward to it. It's going to be great. But uh, on that note, let's. Uh, End this massive, massive show. Yes. Uh, thanks everyone who has listened, whether you're listening on Radio Italiana or Spotify or uh, YouTube for that matter as well. Thanks everyone. We do appreciate all your support and you can check out all our socials. Uh, just head over to Slipstream Autosports and Let's Talk Motorsport. It's usually the yellow icon. Uh, we're pretty much on every single social media to exist except for Tinder. But... Um, <laughs> But, wait, uh, wait, 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 we have an OnlyFans? What? <laughs> um, I forgot about that one. Uh, I'll let you talk to you privately about that one. But uh, no, no, thanks everyone who has tuned in. Uh, like I said, follow us on there um, and uh, check out our YouTube and TikTok because we'll be doing our live stream in-depth supercar and Formula One podcast and also F1 watch-alongs as well for that matter. And uh, my name is Daniel. This is Alex and Ivan. And uh, we'll catch you all next week for some more motorsport chit-chat. Bye. Bye for now. Bye.